Good morning. We are in Tortuguero. Madeline is pissed because the dogs were barking the whole night. So it's super early here in Tortuguero. We have to be at our hiking in five minutes. We are today first doing a hike in the morning now. It's before 6 a.m. and we are doing a more or less two to three hours hike. And then we have a few hours of break. And after a break, which we will spend here at Todoguri at the restaurant, we are going to have a, a canoe ride. Wonderful tour to Gero. It is way too early here. We got up at 4.30. It's an early riser town. <laughs> Crazy. I've seen a guy taking his dog and his bicycle to the beach at 4.30. This one there is a bloody tree because when you chop in inside the wood they have the red color water like a blood. The Indian people used it many years ago for change color in the face. These gigantic trees that we also already encountered in Dominica are called bloody trees because if you cut them then you have red liquid running out of the trees and you can put it as medicine on wounds. And they also have fruits that a lot of um, monkeys eat. like plastic. Do you smell that Sasha? What do you think? It's pee. <laughs> Brüll auf dem pee. And he said like if you can smell it and the stronger it is, the uh, closer they are or the less time is between like them being here and you passing by. If you encounter a strong smell then look up maybe there are some, some monkey. This Leanne is very strong. Climb up this you know very fast. I see one lady like three days ago they climb fast. Like the monkeys. <laughs> like a monkey, yeah. <laughs> we just found a little red frog, which is poisonous, but just if you eat them. And they call them red poison arrow frog because the Indians use the frog, like the poison that is inside the frog, to put them on, on arrows and hunt monkeys. They also call him blue jeans because he's red on the upper part, but dark blue on the leg looks like he has some pair of jeans on. And he's gonna sing forever in blue jeans. This is cool with the rainforest. But he's always like, never touch animals, they can be poisonous, they can bite. And I just remember all the hikes in Cuba. There's nothing poisonous here, there's no malaria, no mosquito, nothing can harm you here. You'll touch Difference. everything. Yeah, you can touch everything. <laughs> Right in the middle of the national park there is actually a water facility that delivers the water for the town, for the whole town of Tortuguero. And it's so close to the beach, they are basically taking the water from 25 meters below ground level and then bring it up, filter it and put some chlorine in it and so the whole town gets its fresh water from this facility here, right in the national park. Uh, black is negro, madero negro, black wood, that's the name of this. Like a medicinal plant and uh, it's apparently good for your skin and you can put it in water the water will turn green very fast and then you can take a shower with it and it should be very good for your skin against infections and everything and it's stinky gone <laughs> encountered spider monkeys and it was my first 
ever wildlife monkey. I just know them from zoos and I'm not a fan of zoos so I'm never really in zoos so just as a little kid. That was pretty cool. It was a spider monkey. Of course he has very long legs and arms and long tail so he's looking like a spider and that's why they call him spider monkeys. And he told us that they actually also have a long pregnancy, seven months, and then they carry it around the kid for one to two years before they separate and kids live their own lives. That's for animals I think quite a while, quite some time, seven months of pregnancy. And they never get more than one kid, never. And they're the biggest monkeys here in Costa Rica. They weigh about 12 kilograms. And the Brüllaffen, the screaming monkeys, they are smaller. They are only seven, but they make such a big noise, such a fuss that you think they're the biggest ones. But no, the spider monkeys, they are the biggest ones here. black beaches here like on Barbados and also we are here at the Caribbean side of Costa Rica so yeah that might be the reason for the resemblance so this has been a 200 kilo turtle sometimes the jaguars kill them here and eat them here sometimes they drag them in the woods ah, that's raining again so that turtle has been killed by a jaguar and it's here since last year crazy so fun because he is because of the rain most animals hide that's what he told us even like insects everything um, so he's always stopping to take a look if he can spot something and the whole group is like and then we are going <laughs> after him again and then we're stopping again it's like he's the duck mom or the duck dad <laughs> we are always following behind and we have a little ducklings yeah our first sloss but it was very high up in the tree so yeah it was not really 100% visible but anyway we've seen a sloss with a baby even though I haven't seen the baby <laughs> but I'm proud that we at least have seen one now we have some lunch maybe we can go where we went yesterday yeah, because we good. didn't get sick it was very delicious and the prices were good same place different day 9 a.m. sharp time for breakfast it's crazy, when you get up at 4.30, we should maybe become early risers, what do you say? 5 a.m. Miracle Morning Club? But then I need better coffee in the morning. It's so hard to get good coffee here. The last good coffee I remember is the one in Santa Teresa. There's a fancy cafe, expensive one. That was good cappuccino, vegan cappuccino. Very important. So after a little creativity short break here in our lovely casita, which now is blazing hot due to the noon sun, we are heading off to the canoe to go with Ernesto into the jungle, into the creek, into the Amazon of Costa Rica here at Tortuguero Island. It's gonna be good. We're expecting to see a lot of animals, a lot of plants, a lot of wildlife, all this crazy stuff. Let's go. dock in the Tortuguero National Park. I can see why it's called the Amazon River of Costa Rica. Our guide is a little bit late, so pura vida, right? 
longer and then when it was yellow like this it's right okay they open by themselves my friend but look look now the beautiful look very nice color look nice flower my friend super look this part look right here this part you can eat then if you get lost in the forest also first uh, possibly bad Oh, fresh picked? Yeah, this, this. Go ahead, go ahead, to eat them. If I'm going to die, I make you accountable. <laughs> <laughs> no, for the stomach, it's not bad, I know. Tastes like nothing. Also the fruit. No? Sasha with his sensitive stomach is trying it too. <laughs> yeah? It's okay. Yeah. been our little canoe adventure. It consisted a lot of this and of this and a lot of silence. So this is why we haven't really told you anything because we basically just watched animals and everybody was very quiet for hours. <laughs> but it was great. It was super great. Like being in the jungle. Sasha didn't record our nice conversation with Ernesto that we had five seconds ago. We were really sad because it was really nice. We're trying to, uh, to recap. See you later, alligator. Tschüss, crocodile. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Something like that. Yes. My flip flop is dying again. Oh no. So, Ernesto is a really, really cool guy. Yes. Very nice recommendation. We're gonna put his WhatsApp number in the description box below. Hope we gave you some impressions of Tortuguero, the national park. I mean, only the boat ride is an adventure yes. for its own. Yes. Come here. Yeah, don't hesitate. Costa Rica, go to Tortuguero National Park. The national park is burning. Is it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> some yeah. good fire. All right, guys. Okay. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. We are having some amazing dinner now. All right. Lots of street dogs here. Let's step majorly in dog poo. <laughs>
Okay, take 273. Exactly. Und dann, wenn wir sterben, sterben wir gemeinsam. <lacht>